Hey guys, just uh, checking back in here. This is Paul. Um, Want to share some updates from the two power wall system with the 4.08 kilowatt hour um, solar array on the roof uh, after kind of a long, bright summer. So I thought I'd share some data from the app and uh, from the energy company as well. And I think it was a super productive summer. So let me uh, hop right into it here. I just want to remind you guys that um, also if you're looking to get a Powerwall system, uh, you do get a few bucks off uh, if you use some of these links. I'll go ahead and pop mine in the bio there and we can help each other out, uh, get a little referral thing going. But otherwise, uh, let me pop to the data here in the app. So apologize for the kind of funny video recording here. I just thought I'd do it the easiest way possible. So the YouTube pros are frowning on me right now, but gotta do what you gotta do. All right, one second. So sharing overall home usage um, year to date, um, and this breaks it down by how much it was offset. So you see that the tallest bars are obviously the usage, 5,900 kilowatt hours overall. Um, you see things really kind of ramped down as it warmed up into May, uh, June, and then in July, August uh, had peak AC usage. You had a pretty hot summer uh, starting in July for Washington state, I should say. Um, I know y'all are laughing. So um, notable too, uh, the green is the power wall um, offsetting usage. Now I had it on 100% backup since we have net metering, we still get a good kickback from our energy company. Um, I had it on 100% backup until May, cause that's when we have less wind storms. I don't really care about backup as much. I ramped it down to 20% backup. So then the batteries are really charging, discharging, giving less back to the grid and kind of just keeping me off grid. Um, you know, we'd use the energy we saved up at night, uh, only export if the batteries are full. So that's why you see kind of the power wall being in the picture then. But um, yeah, looking at solar production, um, and this is that four kilowatt um, array system, which is like 12 of the panels they were putting on um, at least a couple years ago when I got mine installed. Uh, this is the solar generation 3554, so pretty nice overall percentage for not a huge solar system. Um, not that kind of solar system, you get it. But uh, yeah, really, really good. You can see that's either going directly to the home or to the power wall once I allowed them to discharge in um, May. And then you can see power wall discharge summary right there. Um, with charging as well. And then finally, the net grid usage, which super low, obviously, May, June, um, before the AC started coming on. So uh, jumping back to kind of like the Puget Sound Energy side, which is our utility provider, this is their little chart that they provide. Um, disregard the gas on the bottom, it doesn't affect that, obviously, but you can check out the average daily kilowatt hours. Last year was 17.13, this year is 3.31. So uh, really liking that. And that even isn't really counting what was dumped back to the grid for net metering. So I got even more of an offset on top of that. But just for perspective, like July, August, um, in previous years, those bills were looking um, like a couple hundred bucks versus uh, now we're around $40 um, like a month um, in this area. So Anyway, uh, pretty good stuff overall, and uh, looking forward to sharing more data as we went in the winter. Now, I just switched them to 85% uh, reserve for 15% um, since we're in October now, so 15% uh, um, you know, charge-discharge cycle. So it'll be interesting to see how that kind of supplements going in, but literally no hiccups, haven't touched the system. Um, everything's been functioning great, so... Uh, excited to share more as it comes up. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. And don't forget, um, if you're looking to get this referral code um, in this video. Thank you so much.